Um, so I first met the uh, the Toon Track guys last year when uh, we were doing the the presets for Metal Foundry, um, and we, we got talking about doing uh, sort of a sample pack stroke MIDI grooves for uh, for uh, Easy Drummer. Um, so we we put all this into motion, and April this year we went out to uh, Henson Studios in LA, which is the old A and M Studios uh, just off Sunset. I mean, there's been so much stuff done there from. I know the Doors, the Police, Metallica have recorded there. Um, we spent five days do, doing these samples out there, and the idea was to bring it back to the UK to my place here, just to mix these down and you know blend the samples in that I use as well a little bit. We were in Studio B. Um, they haven't actually finished it. They got sort of halfway doing the uh, the decor in there and decided it sounded so good they they left it the way it was. The most amazing studio in the world to me, Henson, and what's it? My favorite drum room, Studio B. Yeah. That. So it sounds really good. It's got a natural ambience to it, a nice snap to the room, but it isn't overly large. But uh, it's got a very sort of controlled reflection, uh, which works works great. You know, adds a real good good power to the kits, but do doesn't uh, doesn't engulf the whole whole kit in reverb. Do I? I love it. Do you want to see some ring? No, I love it. Yeah. It's a ring. Yeah. Uh, when we were talking about doing this, we were trying to think of. Uh, obviously which drummer we could use and uh, Johnny was one of the first guys I thought of. We met years ago when I was in Testament, you know, I did a record that he actually mixed. Uh, the results are incredible and it gets the best drum sounds ever. But obviously being a fan of the, all the thrash stuff he'd played on before, I, I knew him from the Exodus days. Um, and obviously he'd done Exodus, Testament, Helmet, uh, White Zombie, obviously that was a, a big gig for him. That was like my big break, you know, playing arenas, the big show, giant drum risers, fire, bombs and everything. Uh, another of the, the main reasons for going out to LA for this was obviously John's got all his, uh, his vintage drum collection and storage out there. I brought my favorite drums for recording, which are a Tama Star Classic Babinga. And what I love about Babinga shells is it has a really dark texture tone to it, so you can get serious low and deep rich tones, and they record amazingly. I think we've got seven or eight different snares recorded and three kits in total. Uh, including the old uh, stainless steel Ludwig he's got, which is great, you know, huge 26 inch kick and you know, it's toms that I think start at 16, 18 and 20 or something crazy. So uh, yeah, we had, a, we had a good bit of fun uh, uh, with, with the, his drum collection and his vast array of snares. Yeah, so I'm a huge snare collector. I have over 60 snare drums in my house. And so what I did for this session in particular was bring my favorite ones that record the best. First one is my snare drum, the John Tempesta Thomas Signature Snare Drum which is a seven by 14, two millimeter brass drum, which has all the characteristics of, yeah, I could get the highs out of it and the mids and the lows, so it records great, as well as an 80s uh, Tama Bell Brass, which is like the all around classic killer drum. Um, Lars Ulrich is like, used, used it on a black record, and as well as a million drummers, Dave Grohl on Nevermind, so. Um, and then I brought out the old uh, faithful Black Beauty, Ludwig Black Beauty, everybody's favorite. Uh, Ludwig Superphonic I used. Uh, another one which is, sounds amazing is a, a Sonar Bronze, which my good friend Danny Carey from Tool gave to me. And, uh, I used a Tom of Babinga snare drum as well. And I also have a Dunnit uh, Titanium snare drum. So I think all around, you know, I covered every area which I wanted to get out of the snare drum, so. Uh, Johnny was a good all-round drummer, real hard hitter. Um, very varied in his playing, which I think is what you need for something like this. It can't be all, you know, one direction. So we tried to, incorporate um, quite as, as a broader range from uh, John's sort of background in, into the MIDI grooves. I picked all like the favorite songs of my recording career from my first bands from Testament to White Zombie, Rob Zombie, um, Helmet, The Cult. So I, I wanted to cover a whole big range of everything, you know, from metal, thrash metal to uh, industrial kind of zombie stuff. <laughs> Today is our last day here recording, and uh, I had the best time. So yeah, it's really, uh, really good, good, good room. Great people at the studio. We had a great time. All right, we're done. Right, that's it. I've had enough. I've had enough. Go on. Out. <laughs>